everyone, today on Amateur Kitchen, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a lemon rosemary pork tenderloin. It is absolutely amazing, so delicious. It's perfect for this holiday season or really any time if you're entertaining or during the weeknight. It's packed with flavors and as long as you follow my instructions, it's gonna turn out for you every single time. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited to get started on making this lemon rosemary pork tenderloin. Here we go. pork tenderloin in a resealable bag that's already been marinated. So let me tell you how I did the marinade. First, I added in two tablespoons of rosemary, along with some lemon zest, and the juice of two lemons, two teaspoons of a horseradish Dijon mustard. But if you don't have horseradish, go ahead and use a regular Dijon mustard, or even yellow mustard if that's all you got a half a cup of olive oil, and of course some salt and pepper to season. I like to put my marinades in resealable bags for the fact that you can get all of the air out, or most of the air out at least, and it allows for the marinade to really kind of stick to that meat and make it fabulous. So I put this in the refrigerator for two hours at least. It could go even a couple more hours if you want. If you do it at lunchtime and you're serving it for supper or whatever. I like to take it out 30 minutes and put it on the countertop before I start cooking it. That way it cooks real evenly and nicely. So that's that. It's that simple. All we have to do now is head over to the stove and start browning it and baking it and then we're going to try it. I know. It's so easy. So I have a griddle pan here that is over high heat and I'm just gonna put on some olive oil just to help so that pork tenderloin doesn't stick too much to the pan. This pork tenderloin is gonna go fat side down and you wanna hear that nice sizzle, it'll create a nice sear. And we're just gonna sear it on all sides for about three minutes or so on each side. So once it's done searing on all sides, I'm gonna go ahead and take our thermometer and put it right in the middle of this, all the way. This is ready to go in a preheated 400 degree oven until the internal temperature is 140 degrees, which will take about 15 minutes or so. This looks just beautiful. I am so excited about this, and I hope you guys try this, because this is one of those recipes that you're gonna be making for years. So what I'm gonna try to do here, I have a platter that I garnish with, of course, rosemary and lemon, and I'm just gonna try and take some of these without destroying it too much, kind of. Ooh. And we're just gonna place it right on this bed of rosemary and kind of fan it out a little bit. Maybe it'd be easier if I just use the tongs, right? I don't know about you, but this is something that I would be really proud to serve at my dinner table. And let me tell you what, your guests are going to be so impressed with the way it tastes, not just the way it looks. So I have my little piece here. Oh, so good. You could serve it with a sauce. Not a big fan of sauces with meat. I think it takes away from the flavor. Uh, this time of year, you could serve it with some mashed potatoes, or uh, if you're making it for the summertime or springtime and want to go a little lighter, you could always do a real beautiful mixed veggies and or mixed bed of lettuce or something like that with a nice soft vinaigrette. So, you know, like a lemon vinaigrette or something. Oh, I forgot my garnish for my plate. Mm. Or here. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. So good, so moist, tender. Do not cook this 
over 140. You need those juices to redistribute, so let it rest. And I promise you, it comes out perfect every single time. Your guests are absolutely gonna love this one. You can taste the rosemary in there, and then the citrus, the lemon zest, and you can kind of get a little hint of that horseradish Dijon mustard that I use. So, again, if you don't have that, just use regular mustard, no big deal. You gotta try this. Well, in the meantime, before I finish diving into this, sharing the rest of this with friends and family, Maria and I, she'll be back, don't worry, want to send all of you guys, our friends, to our website, AmateurKitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos, including this delicious one, along with other Christmas holiday recipes or just get-togethers. We got it all for you. No worries on that end. And we always want you to go to all those social media pages and click the like button or follow button so you can see what we're up to. And we're also on the Roku device, so be sure if you have a Roku to add our channel to your list. That's it. I'm going to finish enjoying this. I hope you guys try it too. And I want to see you guys right back here again next time on Amateur Kitchen. See you later.